In this question, we have to find out the velocity and acceleration of the different links of the mechanism. The input link that is crank PQ rotates at 10 radian per second clockwise. So, we have to draw the velocity and acceleration diagram when angle QPS is equal to 60 degrees. So, in this we have to find out the angular velocity and angular acceleration of the link QR and RS. Now this is a 4 bar chain, so in this we have 4 links, so all links length is given as PQ, RS, QR and PS. And the condition is given as like QPS is equal to 60 degree for this 4 bar chain. On this position we have to find out the velocities. So before space diagram we have to choose the proper scale, so we have taken like 20 mm is equal to 10 centimeters so this is PS and this is we have taken as 10 centimeter according to skill now next is QPS is equal to 60 degree so we'll mark at 60 degree and that is PQ 62.5 so we'll use 33.12 centimeter so that is point Q 60 degree now this we have to find out the point r so we'll go for arc of 8.7 and again arc of 5.6 so this is intersection point so that is r so space diagram completed now in the question the angular velocity is given as 10 radian per second is clockwise direction so we can easily find out the velocity of the link qp and that is equal to 0.625 meter per second and the direction of the input velocity is in clockwise direction and perpendicular to the pq link so this is vqp so we have the both direction and magnitude of the input link so we'll go for the velocity diagram and we will select a proper scale and we have chosen 0.6 meter per second is equal to 6 centimeter so now we have to draw the velocity diagram before that we have to mark this ps that is fixed point and the input velocity so that is yes we have drawn the input velocity this is pq and this is vqp so velocity of input link is drawn now you can see with respect to q the r point can be moved in this direction so we we have just given a prediction so we will shift this vrq on q like this and secondly the r point can be moved with respect to s like this so again we'll draw the velocity in both the direction and we will shift both the direction on the link this s point so we will mark this this is velocity vrs so this is right this is wrong and this is vrq so we have completed the velocity diagram so by measuring we can find out the different velocities of the links so now by measuring you can see vrs is equal to 4.2 centimeter that is 0.42 meter per second and omega is 0.42 divided by length of the link and that is equal to 3.73 radian per second as you can see this is clockwise direction so this is clockwise direction and for the velocity of v r q so by measuring we can say that this is the value is 3 point so 3.5 centimeter that is equal to 0.35 meter per second so omega is velocity per length so that is 2 radian per second and We have got and the direction of this is in 
counter clockwise direction as you can see in the diagram so velocity and angular velocity we have find out for all the links now we'll go for the acceleration diagram so before acceleration diagram we have to find out a scale so we'll go for radial and tangential component of different links for radial that is velocity square per length and for tangential that is angular acceleration into length so first we will find out the input link radial component acceleration component that is 6.25 meter per second also in this question the angular acceleration is given as zero so the input link tangential velocity uh, tangential acceleration is zero now second that is r q so we we'll go for radial component and that is velocity square per length and that is equal to Point seven meter per second square. For tangential component, we don't have value of alpha, so we cannot find out this. But for radial, we will go for R S, and radial component of acceleration for R S is equal to one point five six eight meter per second square. And again, tangential component we cannot find out because we don't have value of alpha R S. So now. from the input link radial component we will go for the scale that is 6 meter per per second square is equal to 6 cm so before making acceleration diagram we will first mark the fixed point that is p and s and for radial we will go from p to q q to p q to p q towards p q towards p so like this you can see from q to p we will mark this line like this from q to p and with respect to scale we will mark this at 6.2 cm and there is no tangential component so the radial component will be the final acceleration of this link qp this qp is equal to final acceleration of the qp so now the second for qr the the r towards s r r towards q for the radial component we will go for r towards q so same we will mark this from r to q so direction is same and the value of the link is like 0.7 cm and this is r q so radial component is marked and for tangential component we will just mark on perpendicular line to the radial line so this is perpendicular to the radial component so this is a tangential component both the direction so we have marked now we will go for the link rs and in this again for radial component we will go from r to s s is the center from r to s so downward direction so this is r to s so we'll mark from r to s and the value of this is 1.5 cm so we'll mark 1.5 cm and this is radial component of the link rs so radial component of link rs from r to s now we'll mark the tangential component of link rs and this is just 90 degree to the radial component so completed and that is the intersection point and that is equal to r so this is tangential component of rq this is tangential component of rs and we have the points so so by so so this is the lines we just connect the all the all the points and this is acceleration of rs and this is acceleration of rq so acceleration diagram complete we can find out different acceleration by measuring and convert to the scale so in this you can see by measuring we can find out the acceleration of rq so you can see the acceleration of rq this is approximately equal to 4.1 cm so this is simply 4. 1 meter per second and second 
acceleration of rs so by measuring as you can see this is equal to 5.4 cm and this is 5.4 meter per second square so we have find out both the acceleration now we'll go for angular acceleration and that is equal to tangential component of the link rs divided by the length of the link and that is equal to 5.3 divided by 0 0.112 simply the tangential component per length that is 4.711 radian per second is square that is angular acceleration of the rs and now the angular acceleration of rq that is simply tangential component of rq or length of rq and that is 23.42 radian per second square.